what do you why do you guys oh my god why do you guys do that Ugh. YouTube video you're looking at your girl Lin Wei and there is absolutely no way without going through the way as you can tell by the title of today's video we're gonna be talking about annoying things that guys do that we girls just don't like very annoying they are just I don't understand why but very annoying and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe please do watch this video to the very end and comment down in the comment section i really want to know what you guys think about my videos and i'm appreciating the support i'm getting from everyone and yeah let's just get right into the video so number one when we are arguing and all you do is just give one-liners like how are you i'm telling you even when typing like even on text with this quarantine situation going on i type a whole paragraph and all you say is okay sure oh my god like you it's like is what do you want me to say say something or they look at you and they ask you so what do you want me to do Okay, then moving on to the second thing like that these guys do, right, is not taking thing, like, things seriously. Like guys basically just don't take a lot of things seriously. Like when something went wrong or something happens and you don't take it seriously, like what's wrong? Like that's so annoying, especially with this like gender-based violence situation. Most guys are just so quiet about it. It's because you guys don't take things seriously. Just because it's not happening to you doesn't mean it's not happening to the rest of us. We feel scared. I am scared. Oh my god. Oh. <sighs> Moving on. The third thing is asking for news or pictures. Like, why are you asking for them? If your girlfriend wants to send you those news, she will send those news uh, at her own discretion. Like, she's going to send them when she wants. Don't, like... Why are you asking for pictures and nudes? Why? Like, what? Like, instead of asking for consent, you're busy asking for nudes and pictures. Ah, <sighs> number four. It's us to see you when they know that you're strict parents. Like, you know, Kuri, they're not even going to allow me to go out. I don't know why you want me to break the rules, but you continue asking continuously. Like, can I see you? Can I? Oh my God. <sighs> Very annoying. Um, Like, it also happens when, like, so the uh, fifth thing is number five is when like you call me up and say i should like you know pop up and then i do pop up and i paid for my own transport going that way like i paid for my own transport you are not even going to do the courtesy of just be nice and pay transport going back then why am i supposed to come and see you like it is our responsibility for the fact that when you were sitting Kenny, you were chilling, sitting at home with no stress. But me, I had to, you know, take out my own money to come and see you. Like, at least all you can do is to pay transport going back. I don't mind paying transport coming because I want to come as well. But, like, going back, what is it? It was the last money I had in my pocket to come. And then, who's going to take me back? The sixth thing is, um, <laughs> when will I see you chat, like, every single time, every single day, like, some gents, like, literally in, in their DMs, the only thing they ever say to girls is, when will I see you, uh, when are you coming to visit me, when are you, like, it's always, why, when will you see me, <laughs> like, why can't you ask, like, why can't I be asking that, that thing is so annoying, don't do that to girls, like, it's so it's very unattractive don't do that i feel like that i should do a whole different video but yeah if you're enjoying this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and join the lw squad ha! and then um number seven is gents that call you um like just that just do name calling like why don't call me baby when i'm not your go your girlfriend as long as i'm not your girlfriend you are not allowed to be like calling me like babe 
baby who are you what are you to me for you to be calling me that unless you are based like like they just they have like let's respect each other like it's literally a basis of respect you just have to respect me and because no like mm -mm, mm -mm. don't do that we have our, our names as reference it's literally cat calling but you are doing it in a smart way it's you are still cat calling me so mm -mm. number nine oh number eight asking girls or asking any girl and be like why is a pretty girl like you single it's because men are just why are you asking that that thing is so annoying sometimes we just generally don't want to be in relationships like we just don't want to be in any entanglement basically we, we don't want to end up like jade and trying to discover ourselves and other people i mean we respect people that's why sometimes pretty girls are single like it's not guy like it's literally sometimes what i mean it's not your business to know like it's a very annoying question don't ask it uh number nine guys <laughs> who wear clothes right uh without bathing and then spray cologne all over their body like it's going to chase away the body odor my brother please go in baths because like why <laughs> like really i don't understand because i feel like this happens more with guys than it actually it really happens with girls because obviously there's just so many things that can stink in a girl but guys it's like they feel comfortable without bathing how do you do it how do you wake up and not brush your teeth like why why are you waking up and not brushing your teeth no 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 we, we really can't have such situations we really mm -mm. Hush. Hush. Then moving on to number 10 is telling a girl you like her and then you ghost. Like, I feel like the most annoying thing guys do is ghost. Like, why? Like, why? Like, what was the purpose? Like, why did you have to then tell her if you're gonna disappear? Like, don't do that. Then number 11 is telling a girl that you like her. Uh, and then during the talking stage, when you guys are still getting to know each other, you're talking to other girls. Like, why? Like, that is just so annoying. Like, why do you guys do that? Like, we, like as long as we are establishing something, have you ever, oh my god, like, it's just, I don't understand. Like, mm -mm. I really don't understand. Why do you guys do that? Comment down in the comment section if it, I'm not the only person that gets annoyed when I'm talking to you. Next thing I'm seeing you a, in a relationship with someone just like that. It's like, please comment down in the comment section about how you guys feel about that. Because, wow. And then number 12 is not making intentions clear. Like, you need to make your intentions clear. If you want to be my friend, Make sure I know that you want to be my friend. Because sometimes you'll be like, no, you were reading too much in between the lines. Don't, don't be too friendly with girls. And then all of a sudden, be like, mm -mm, don't do that. Be clear with your intentions. If you want a relationship, be clear from day one. Gurina, I want to be in a relationship with you. And if it means that I work through it, like just be clear with what you want and where you are going. Because I, I, people that don't have direction don't head anyway. Besides, okay, no. Uh, number 13 dating girls in the same friend group like how do you guys do that how is that even comfortable like i thought like everyone has they you know i thought there was bro code and girl code and how are bros breaking that code because that it's very toxic like honestly i don't understand i don't get it even till now like it's just like how how is that possible how does that make sense to you it's like dating like sisters literally it's dating people in the same family and hi mm -mm. Uh -uh. <laughs> it's just it just destroys relationship it's very annoying please don't do that and number 14 is asking your girl like asking a girl out and asking her be her best friend or her friend out at the same time and you are technically double dating the friends like how do you shoot your shot at me and then shoot another shot at my friend like 
Don't you think we are going to end up talking to you, drinking tea, or chatting about you in a group chat? Oh yes, the group chat situation number 15. The most annoying thing is when you guys decide to talk about like girls or your, like that's very annoying. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's super annoying. And the last ultimate last thing that guys do for me in this channel, number 16. Is when we tell them about gender-based violence and they keep quiet you need to understand that at a certain point at a certain time gender-based violence is a social issue it's an issue that involves both genders or all genders to be specific it's not just set aside for women to fight against it it's not set aside for certain men to fight against it and it has to be an issue or something that we deal with together because that's the only way we can reach consensus because if guys are going to always be quiet about what's happening to them and girls are always the one only talking i feel like we need to meet each other halfway and try and show understanding show some form of some like sympathy you need to show that there's a lot of things that are happening to a lot of different people and it's not nice it's really not nice and it can happen to your sister, it can happen to your mother, it can happen to your aunts, it can happen to your friends. You, you need to at least say something because silent won't solve anything. This conversation is not only for women, this is a conversation for everyone in society. We all need to talk about gender-based violence because in the end we'll be losing our sisters, we'll be losing our brothers, we'll be losing people to a lot of things. So let's have this conversation, let's talk about it, let it spread, let it not just be a trend let it not just be when something major happens or when someone dies and that's when we pay attention to it we need to see it's an everyday situation and it needs to be dealt with immediately and with that said don't forget to um like comment share and subscribe to my youtube channel and i'm gonna see you guys in the next other deal other deal